Sheesh. Cybertruck does not have a clear coat on the surface of the exterior body panels, meaning any scratches that appear are in the stainless steel panels themselves. Okay, you know how when you get minor nicks and scratches on your car, they can be, uh, like, buffed out really easily because the scratches are actually in a very, uh, thin, like, waxy coat on top of the metal that can be just, like, sort of flattened down? In this case, it's in the metal. <laughs> uh... Anyone performing scratch repair should refer to the applicable exterior stainless steel panel refinishing procedure within the collision repair manual on service test. Do not use or immediately remove chemical corrosive or non-pH neutral substances, including or not limited to acidic liquids or materials. Me, me like eating street tacos in San Francisco next to my Cybertruck and accidentally squirting a little bit of lime juice onto it and watching in horror as the uh, lime juice burrows its way into the stainless steel panel like, uh, like I've dropped acid on it. It just explodes instantly. Uh, you have dropped that. Oh, it's true, yeah. It's true. Acidic liquids are materials, grease, oil, tree resin, dead insects, tar spots, road salt. You're, so they really do expect you to have to, like, if you're ever driving in any area that salts the roads, they salt the roads during the winter in Seattle, you know? It's not a, like, like, Seattle doesn't get that cold. Industrial fallout. What does that mean? Industrial fallout? Well, like... Like, it, like, if you drive through the factory area? What, what does that mean? Please remember, by the way, the Cybertruck was literally marketed as a, like, survival vehicle that could, like, weather the post-apocalypse. It's bulletproof, but God forbid you squirt lemon juice on it, you know? Elon randomly tweeted that it would be able to, like, swim across rivers, like it would float, like a boat, you know? Meanwhile, any amount of salt instantly causes it to explode. Unbelievable. Does this make literally any other car a better boat because it doesn't rust? I would trust any other car as a better boat than this. This is the new wave of trucks we actually need. True! We need to return to, like, 1980s Japanese utility pickup trucks, which are about the size of, uh, like, a, a grape. They're tiny, and they carry just as much stuff as a gigantic Ford F-150, which weighs six times as much. How does somebody as dumb as Elon uh, even exist? Yeah, it's it's kind of surprising that he's like, I don't know, hasn't forgotten to breathe. Genuinely, it might not be a problem forever. Apparently the dude's depressive and microdoses ketamine, which by the way, when somebody that wealthy says they microdose ketamine, what they actually mean is they just do ketamine in probably excessive amounts. You know, that's bullshit. So yeah, the doses ain't micro. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see if he doesn't, uh, ego death his way. Does K cause ego death? I don't know anything about ketamine. Let's just say K causes, uh, ego death and that he will eventually have one and become a philanthropist. For Elon, ego death is just death. True. How can a person this wealthy be this fucked? Olmsted, your thinking is, is reversed. You've internalized, uh, you know, the myth of meritocracy. The wealthier you are, the more likely you are to be a gigantic evil fuck up, actually, you know? Poor people have to stay afloat every day because if they don't, they lose their homes, you know? Poor people who have to balance their school and their work and two jobs and raising their kids and blah, blah, they're running on the razor's edge, you know? They're, they're, they're running on a, a very high stakes, uh, low margins, uh, you know, survival game. For people like Elon, for super wealthy people, just fuck up forever. As long as you don't literally die and you have access to better healthcare than normal people, by the way, uh, you can keep running. It's the opposite. The wealthier and more powerful you get, the weaker the holds are on you being uh, responsible and engaging in good behavior.